Hi everybody, here's another video about uh, playing Arabic music on the guitar. On this one I want to explain you a little bit the, the guitar setup. Okay, this is a setup uh, that can work with any guitar, nylon strings, steel strings, acoustic instruments or electric instruments, all right? So things that we're gonna have when, when we're trying to play Arabic music, okay. Um, first I'm using a standard open, uh, not open, a standard tuning, okay. Just E, A, D, G, B, A, E. So it's the normal tuning. There are some, some alternative tunings or some adjustments that you can do your tuning later on that are very easy and very simple, okay. And it makes things, well, better in terms of, uh, you know, it uh, uh, makes your life easier. You know, sometimes like raising your sixth string all the way to F, which is half step up, it's a string that you only hit open, you know, so you don't have to worry so much about where notes are. Uh, and this makes your life easier when you're playing certain maham, you know, in order to have that note there. And there are other tunings that I explain, you know, in my books or in different videos that also make things easier and they don't make your playing uh, more difficult. Okay, yes, that's an important thing. But uh, anyway, everything still you can play it on a standard tuning. So even if you want to fusion Arabic music with anything else you play, you still can do it because you, everything is just waiting for you there, you know, with your same tuning and, and everything else, okay? So, now, uh, the tricky part in Arabic music and trying to play on the guitar is playing what we call the microtones, all right? Microtones are notes that have a division that is smaller than half a step, okay? Like, the smaller step on the guitar that we have is half a step from one fret, to the other but these microtones are even smaller than this so that's why we need different ways to to achieve this to get these sounds okay one of the first ideas was to for more many people playing arabic music or, or similar uh, styles you know uh, their first idea was to use fretless guitar okay i even did that when i was when i started studying this music uh, back in egypt um, it was great, but I was missing, you know, the sound of my guitar. And also when you play the fretless guitar, you don't have all the stuff that you know on the normal guitar anymore available, you know? So if you want to blend or fusion things, you don't have that. It's either one thing or the other. So, but anyway, still for studying, works good. It's a, t a different type of guitar sound if you like it. So any, now remember, any material that you find for playing Arabic music, scores or the books that I have published, you know, about teaching how to play a, a Arabic music on guitar, you can equally play it, play all the material without any problem on a fretless guitar or on a normal guitar, okay? So even if you see material available, just know that you can do it regardless of, you know, what type of guitar you have. Like for instance, I have this book, uh, which is Arabic music for fretless guitar, and like I said, uh, if you don't have a fretless guitar and you have a normal one, you still can mm, mm, check out the book and, and, and play every single thing that is written there on a normal guitar. So how will we do this, okay? We use what we call fretlets, okay? Which is a different thing. Fretlets are like small pieces of fret that are added to the guitar. They are not fixed or, or, or nailed or glued or anything like that, so they don't damage your instrument. Um, you can just put them with a little piece of tape, you know, you can see, I don't know if you can see it there, yep, there you go. Um, you can even put a double side tape, so you don't see the tape, if you like the guitar to look good, you know, still from far you don't even see it. Um, and sometimes the way we used to do it was to go to a luthier and get some frets, cut them in small pieces, file the button a little bit and just get that home, you know. But that used to be, you know, a hassle, you know, you have to go to the luthier, he has to make it, also it costs you money, it's not expensive, but it costs money. So there is a way that is much easier, faster and totally free, which is just taking a piece of, of, of your guitar string, you know, the, the, just the string, the leftovers that you get back here, you know, mine are all short right now, you know, but before the, the little pieces that are left there when you change the strings, you cut them, you cut just the size of, of, you know, to cover one string, and those are great fretless, totally free, 
And same thing, you cut that little piece, you put it with a piece of tape, and it works like a charm. All right, now where to use these fretlets and how many of them to use? In reality, for some maqam, uh, you don't need that many. You can be using maybe one or two, okay? For when you're doing certain maqam or you kind of like modulate or change a lot of different colors, you might need more, but it's still not that many more, okay? Um, in, for instance, myself, the setup that you see here is the one I got to in order to have uh, most of them May makam, makamat in plural, yeah, the Arabic, and um, a little extra. Okay, basically, with this one and this one, uh, sorry, in this one, I can play lots of stuff, all right, and I can even, bonuses, you know, I can go also to Turkish makam, I can even use this setup for Persian music, which is different, but it also just uses the microtones. So it's something I found that is like it, co it, gets, it gets me covered on many different styles and I get really far on that, okay? So what I'm using myself is basically covering the whole mm, between first and second fret, okay, with just one long piece. Then on the, between the third and the fourth fret, I'm covering from the fourth string to the, till the first. And then between the fifth and the fourth fret, I'm just covering the second string, okay? That's it. That, that's if you want to, you know, really take the jump and just do a setup that is like, okay, I can do everything. What I like from this is like I can play, continue. I don't even take it off when I play all the things on the guitar. So I like that. So I don't have to be just taking it off and putting it on and getting crazy. But like I said, to play a lot of the main general macams at the beginning, you don't need that many. You know, you might need fourth string, third string and a little more. Okay. But this is something you can see as you learned, uh, and I suggest you to check out other videos that I, that I have published. And also, if you visit my website, you'll find some books there with scores and tabs and explanations and stuff like that. You know more in detail. Um, so, so that would be it, and that's how we solve the problem of using microtomes. I forgot to mention there used to be another method that some people use, and I even used to use it in the past, that is to use an alternative tuning where you have one or two strings tuned to a microtonal note, and you use that string for the microtomes. But then it changes your whole everything you know on the guitar and you gotta get used and like I said, if you want to fusion things to blend Arabic with flamenco or things like that, then things are not in the same places as before, okay? So that's why I like the idea of keeping the standard tuning and then just adding a few of these fretlets and just go on without losing whatever uh, I learned from before and, and have available. Um, if that's, that's about it, okay? The other thing I could speak of is the, the technique, okay? If we talk about the left hand, it's not very different than, than playing any other style of guitar. It is true that sometimes I do some, some glissando, some slide, and in order to keep it more, uh, with all the notes sounding more like if it was a fretless instrument, I tend to just press and press more with the nail of, okay? and then slide down so the nail works kind of like a slide if I, you've seen a, a bottleneck slide i think i have one here actually you know the slides are these things you put on the finger and you just oh, slide it there on the guitar okay well you can do something with just the nail of of the left hand in that way you'll get some or some ornaments and stuff that you'll find in arabic music um, that you can see also on some pieces that I published and, and also the scores in my books. Um, and that's about it. Left hand doesn't have any really different thing. Right hand, you have different possibilities. For instance, some people like using a pick, like if it was like a flat pick, like an electric guitar, etc. Okay, that's fine. Okay, my suggestions are if you're using a nylon strings, acoustic guitar, kind of like a Spanish guitar like this, I would recommend you using like a, a, a wooden pick, not a plastic pick or something like that, because uh, the wood, the picks made out of wood sounds really nice with nylon strings. So you try it and, and, and you see what you like, okay? And uh, use an acoustic with the steel strings, same thing. I would even go for the wooden pick too, but you can also use like those plastic or whatever material picks are. Yeah. 
on the steel strings. If you're going on the electric guitar, you use whatever pick you're using as usual. You can try different ones too, but on an electric is different. Okay. Um, some other people, they just use the right hand, like, you know, like a normal guitar player. Now, my favorite is the one I'm about to explain you, that is using only the thumb. I use this technique we found in flamenco called alzapua, where we actually plug with the thumb going down, but also striking up. Okay. I get a really beautiful tone, especially on the nylon strings guitar, an acoustic instrument. If I were going to do this on, a, on an electric, I would use a, a flat pick myself. And on, acoust on an acoustic, uh, well, I don't use the acoustic for Arabic music, like acoustic steel strings, but I would probably use the, the pick too. But on nylon, I really like it because it's the closest to the sound of the Arabic code. And I use this thumb technique, which is just that, it's just going down and up, all right? You can just practice that. Um, again, I know I'm marketing myself a lot, but hey, what the heck. Uh, on the Arabic uh, book that I have, uh, which I said is for a fretless guitar, but you can also apply it to a normal guitar. You have a lot of technique exercises there to practice your thumb or even with the pick, etc. All right. And that's about everything you need on a setup to, to play Arabic music. Like I said, uh, it's nothing difficult nothing that you have to spend more money on to get ready, nothing that damages your instrument or things like that. So with any guitar you might have, you can start learning and playing authentic uh, Arabic maqam music. All right, see you in the next video.